we're going to draw symmetric butterflies. So the first thing that you need is a sheet of blank paper and a pencil. The pencil does not need to be super sharp. In fact, a dull pencil will work very nicely. You're going to hold your paper sideways. This is called landscape or horizontal. You can put your hand here and lift up the left edge, fold it over so that the sides meet or the edges meet and the corners align. And you want to fold it so that you have a nice crease. Okay. The first thing we're going to draw is the head and I'm going to leave a little bit of room here because butterflies have antennas. So we're going to draw that later. So I'm going to start down a little bit lower and again you're only drawing half of a circle because we're only going to be drawing half of a butterfly. Okay. Then you're going to draw the middle part. It's almost like a snowman at this point, but you're going to draw the long middle part of the butterfly. And then you're going to draw the tail end of the butterfly, which is a little bit smaller. Okay. Next, you can draw an antenna if you'd like. And now we're going to draw the wing. So I'm going to just give myself some guidelines here to get started. Now you may choose to draw a simple wing which would be just making a curve, okay? If you would like to draw a more complex wing, you can draw two lines like this, and then you can make like a squiggly line. So it's up to you. You can draw just a simple curve, or you can draw a squiggly line. Then, all you have to do is, from the lower part of the tail, just draw a curve up like this. All right. The next thing you want to do is, with your pencil, go over the lines so that they're, they're dark with your pencil. The pencil is made of graphite and we're putting graphite on to our paper because we're basically making a transfer here. Okay. All right, now you can open up your paper and this time we're going to fold it along the same crease. So it should be pretty easy to fold because your fold is there, okay? And now your design is on the inside. And what you want to do is, you don't need to do this with a pencil, you can do it with your finger. You can do it with a pencil if you want to, to make sure you hit all of it. But you want to color, you just want to scratch, basically, over top of your lines. So we're scratching 
over top of our lines. Okay. Now, if you want to take a peek, you can, and you should see very faintly your butterfly lines showing up. So I can see through my paper where my lines are, so that I'm just tracing over top of my lines, okay? Now when you open it up, you should have your butterfly. So now that it's like this, you have your trace lines and you can trace over your butterfly. Now, if you want to add any designs to your butterfly, you can. What you do is, let's say I wanna add a little design. Remember, I'm only gonna add it to half, so I can go like this. Let's say I wanna add this kind of line here. All right, so I draw that line, then I can fold it over, and I'll scratch over it And see how it's on this side really faintly? Okay, so now I can trace it. And you can keep doing that and create a very beautiful butterfly. Okay, and just add to your butterfly. All right, have fun.